This is the second part of the last minute cheat sheet on Cloud SQL vs. Spanner. We reviewed the last minute cheat sheet of Google Cloud SQL last time. Now, let's go through the cheat sheet of Cloud Spanner. Cloud Spanner is a fully managed relational database, built for horizontal scale to petabytes. It supports high availability with a multi-region instance and provide transparent, synchronous replication across region and multi-region configurations. Purpose-built for external, strong global transactional consistency. Let's take a look at this automatic synchronous replication for high availability. Cloud Spanner has three types of replicas. Read-write replicas, read-only replicas, and witness replicas. Read-write replicas support both reads and writes. Read-only replicas only support reads, not writes. Witness replicas don't support reads but do participate in vote to commit writes. Single region instance use only read write replicas, while multiple region instance configurations use a combination of all three types. Review this page on the details of replicas. Google Cloud IAM allows you to control user and group access to Cloud Spanner resources at the project, Cloud Spanner instance, and Cloud Spanner database levels. I didn't have any question on Cloud Spanner's IAM in my exam, provided the access control link for your reference. Keep in mind, Cloud Spanner is not a drop-in replacement for MySQL, and it is not MySQL PostgreSQL compatible. It does require some work to migrate. However, when making a transition, you don't need to choose between consistency and scalability. Please review this page on the details of migrating from MySQL to Spanner. Also, I provide this page for your reference on some of the other Google Cloud products that are integrated with Cloud Spanner. I found that Cloud Spanner best practices, especially bulk loading best practices and schema design best practices, help me a lot to answer some questions in the exam. In bulk loading best practices, pay attention to import a database use Avro files and click the link of the best practices for importing Avro files to learn the details. In schema design best practices, pay attention to how to choose a primer key to prevent hot spots such as avoid monotonically increased primary key, hash the unique key and spread the writes across logical shards, and use a universal unique identifier. Review the highlight sections before the exam. Now we finish the last minute cheat sheets of Cloud SQL and Cloud Spanner two fully managed relational database services in Google Cloud. Next video, I will go through the relational database services decision tree and how to use the decision tree to answer the relational database questions from the PDE sample questions. Thanks for watching and as always subscribe to my channel for more great cloud computing learning tips. Thank you.